Hey there, Pastor Alan from Praise here. I hope you've been enjoying these daily devotionals from the pastoral staff and from me. If you have, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be made aware every time we put out a new video. Today we're reading from James chapter 5, verse 12. Here's what it says. But above all, my brothers, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. James is essentially saying the same thing that Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 33 through 38. There essentially, Jesus just tells us, listen, is your word good or not? If you have to say, I swear, or I promise, then all that means is when you don't say those things, that your word doesn't mean as much. And for me, this is something that I've really been working on over the last few years. I want my kids to know me as a man of my word. I've said it so much in my family that my kids will say it as well. My dad is a man of his word. And that, of course, just makes my heart sing. I want my yes to be my yes and my no be my no. But let me give you another reason why. James in chapter 1 verse 22 actually says that we have the ability to deceive ourselves. In 1 John chapter 1 verse 8 it says the exact same thing. That we as humans have a tremendous ability for self-deception. Jesus actually calls out the Pharisees for this. He says, listen, the issue is that your heart is deceiving your mind. Essentially, what he tells them is, you do not want to recognize who I am. And so your heart, which doesn't want to see me, he says they have an adulterous heart, makes it so that they cannot understand, that they cannot think straight because their heart is crooked. Okay? And so if our heart is crooked, then our thoughts will be crooked. Now here what James is saying is, if your words are crooked... If your yes doesn't mean yes, if your no doesn't mean no, then you can be condemned. And what I get from that is this, that if I don't want to deceive myself, I have to be really very careful not to deceive others. What my mouth does, my heart will follow. And so if I tell others little white lies, they seem so simple, they seem so easy, they seem so innocuous, but in reality, Little white lies I tell others result in little white lies that my heart tells me. I don't want to be one of those who is self-deceived. And the way that I ensure that happens is that I do not deceive others. What little white lies do you tell others? Just simple little things that maybe you mention to others that seem innocuous, but that you catch yourself saying regularly. Do you mind mentioning that in the comments below? And if you're interested in getting one of those books from Tony Reinke, just add, I want a book at the end, and we'll give out a book um, every single day of this week as part of those devotions. May we be people who speak straight so that we can think straight because our heart is straight. God bless you today.